tent. You got up. Well, a little water. Mm. All done here in St. Louis. Well, done for now. When I finish, you know, I finished the, I finished the play, right? I sent it to, I sent it to, you know, the professor in New York, he's supposed to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he said, Remember you said, you got any more? You got some more? I don't even know if the boy better than that. I'm going like, this take work. No, I ain't got nothing right now. Whatever. Let's see if they, let's see if they produce that. But, you know, JB as well as well, you know, buddy, buddy, the professor in New York, they got, they, they got houses full of books. Books, 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 books. I have nearly these big books collected. That's at my sister's house. But, but here's this. I just picked up three books off the shelf, right? This is, by the way, this is Brother John. This is, this was a movie. I think it was a movie first, and they made it into a book. It was the author? Oh, it's in court table. It was the author. By Leo P. Kelly, based on a screenplay part by Ernest Kilnoy. Uh, I think Ernest Kilnoy is, but I don't know. But you know what this is? Uh, you, you know, people always crack, but this is actually a, a Jesus story. <laughs> this is a Jesus story. If you ever see a city portrait movie, Brother John is one of the most underrated movies there was, but it's a great movie. I really liked it. I liked, I liked it a lot. <clears throat> but, but I also saw the city portrait thing right here. Well, let me take these glasses off. I can't, I can't read these glasses like this. The Sydney Portrait, uh, uh, I think it's a, a biography, measure, measure of a Man, right? Yeah, spirit, a spiritual autobiography. Oh, I read it, I read it, um, I, um, I read, I read a, yeah, I read a, a biography or something on, on Sydney, and, because I met him, well, I met him, because it's a book signing, you know, I shook Sydney Portrait's hand. Anyway, uh, he has many chapters, one of these chapters is, let me see if the chapters are in the front. Because uh, it's coming because why do white folks love why do white folks love Sidney Poitier so? Yeah, the the Iliad, departures, time of ashes, life in black and white, a patch of blue. Why do white folks love Sidney Poitier so? I might just take some time and read that chapter: destruction of resurrection, legacies, stargazing, the nature of opposites, the measure of a man. Anyway, sounds like an interesting book. Maybe I'll wait till November when I come back in November. But here's a book I've, I've ran across. Trouble in Mind. Trouble in Mind. Black Southerners in the Age of Jim Crow. The author, the, the author of the Pulitzer Prize winning Been in the Storm So Long. Who's the author? Uh, Sky here. Uh, Trouble in Mind. Oh, uh, Leon F. Lidwack. Litwack, L-I-T-W-A-C-K, Black Leaders of the 19th Century, came out in 1988, Been in the Storm So Long, The Aftermath of Slavery, 1979, Look at America from the Hiroshima to Woodstock, oh, that's a film, I guess, uh, I'm about to look up that film, 1971, oh, maybe I saw that film, I don't know, I've seen some other stuff, the United States, uh, something to do something else, Reconstruction, so this sounds like a really good, interesting book, The Black Sunders in the Age of Jim Crow. So I might, you know, check check this out at some particular time if I can. You know, I love books. Baptism lessons, working, white folk scriptures, white folk acts, hellhounds, enduring, crossroads, epilogue, blah blah blah. So anyway, anyway, books are important. Uh, plays are plays are important. In this day and age, I guess you know things are based on whatever it is. So this is the last post I have from this particular location right now. I don't know when I'm gonna post it up because. I did this before, I might wait take it back to New York to post up. Who knows what I do? Anyway, so I'm celebrating. When I celebrate, well, I have some water. When I celebrate, other people celebrate with alcohol, but me, chocolate. <laughs> I celebrate with chocolate. This is a chocolate ball, because it's magnum people. I don't magnum. Uh, when I say chocolate, Dark chocolate. Chocolate through and through. That's the kind of chocolate I do. Anyway, so, um, on, on to, um, I gotta go to New York, put some stuff there. I'll get this other play thing straight. Then I'll spend some time um, um, at my other location in Virginia. Maybe I'll do a post from New York. Um, um, then, oh, the AD, then, then oh, I'm trying to get, trying, there's this event. There's this event. Let me put this out here. Okay. There's this event 
to Washington D.C. with all like four poet laureates, four women, four four black women poet laureates of the, of the United States poet laureates or whatever it was. For, they're gonna have this event. I'm trying to get to it. I'm not gonna use a press pass or something like that because I ain't got no money. Um, and I think it's next weekend. The week on the 25th, 26th, somewhere, somewhere 27, 28, somewhere around there. So I'm trying to get, get I'm trying to get there. So I might, uh, I might have some interviews from there. So that would be really good. I did a great interview with this guy, uh, Ross Prince. Wow, I think all my interviews are great. But these ramblings that I do, this is not. You should be the go to the channel, go to my in, my interview channel, my interview part of the channel, my interview playlist. Those are the really good things. This stuff is just me waxing because I'm trying to. Do something with my life, and not right, but I mean, I'm chronicling my life, blah 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 blah. Anyway, so I want to get to this, uh, get to that thing, and then of course that next week is is ADOS conference. So that's that's what's on the schedule, and um, I'll check you another sometime, you know. But I'm just happy that I I did what I was supposed to do. <laughs> me me doing what I was supposed to, do. me being T from the past and saying the change to bed, letting you know when I only suspect from a reality from the ADOS. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.